everyone wants to have nice strong bones, we're starting stepping two steps to the side, two steps back, two steps to the side, and two steps back. So part of any fitness program should be some strength training and weight bearing exercises. And the reason you wanna incorporate strength training and weight bearing exercises is to promote an increase in muscle mass as well as bone density. So we are doing 40 minutes of living well fitness for bone density. Nice big steps side to side, going at your own pace. Side step, side step, side step. Nice big inhales through the nostrils. Exhales through the nostrils. Let's circle the arms. We are warming up the body. Anytime you do strength training exercises with weights, it's a great idea to warm up the muscles first. And you can go at your own pace. So if you wanna go slower, this is a slower pace. Doing what's right for your body. Slower pace or faster pace. Circle. Circle. Let's all meet back at center and shift one leg behind. Gently bending your knees. Sweep one foot behind, sweep one foot behind, add some arm movement. Sweep the arms out to the side. You can picture yourself as an ice skater gliding, going any amount that works for you. So you could pick up the pace faster or slow. Slow, keep your knees soft. You're warming up the hips. Don't overdo it. We're still get, getting circulation going in the body. Getting our breathing rate up, heart rate up. Our muscles warmed up. Inhales and exhales. Come back to center, little marches. Start to move your arms forward and back, forward and back. We're shifting the weight into the left leg. Slide the right foot forward, left knee bends, heel comes forward, shift your weight, left heel comes forward, alternating your legs with the heel tap, heel tap, 
heel tap. Let's add a bicep curl for the arms. Keep your hips nice and even. Shoulders are back. Neck is nice and long. So we're not doing it like this. We're not curling up, you know, forward. We want the posture muscles working as we shift our weight. So I get a lot of questions about weight-bearing exercise and what is weight-bearing exercise? Things like swimming and bicycling are not weight-bearing exercises. If you like to swim and bike, don't stop doing those things. They're fabulous exercise. You're getting good cardio, you're strengthening your muscles, but you're really not uh, technically doing weight bearing exercise. It's like this class, this is weight bearing exercise. Our living well uh, fitness classes, our living well yoga classes are weight bearing exercises because we're doing standing movements. Let's tap toes back now, back, back. Straighten the arms in front, front. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Walking is a great example of a weight-bearing exercise. So if, you're wa if you like to walk, if you like to ski, um, if you like to take any fitness classes that are standing, balance type work, that's weight-bearing and great for you. Carrying groceries in and out of the car, carrying your laundry around your house in a basket. Those things are weight bearing. So that all counts, it's good stuff, but keep doing the bicycling and swimming as well if you like that. Cardio is good. Let's go and do one at a time. Heel, heel, toe taps back with the arms. Heel, heel, toe taps back. Curl, curl, tap it back. Curl, curl, tap it back. And you can always eliminate the arms. So if you feel like it's too much for you, or you can't get control of your legs and arms at the same time, do just the feet and go at your own pace. But keep breathing. Take a sip of water and hydrate anytime that you need to. Also very important. All right, let's go ahead and change our movement now. Coming back to our little knee lifts, a little march. Shoulders are back, neck is long. Inhaling and exhaling. Here we go, heel forward, heel forward. What we were just doing, but now we're gonna add a toe tap out front. So tap your toe, tap your toe, forward, forward. Keep the shoulders back, neck nice and long, chin level with the ground. Tap the toe forward and challenge yourself. Maybe you can Add a little more of a knee lift as you tap the toe forward. Tap, 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 tap. Keep breathing. 
Nice work. Changing it to a toe tap to the side, toe tap to the side, left leg out, right leg out, left, right. Keep it going at your own pace. You should always be able to carry on a conversation. When you start to get your heart rate up, you should still be able to have a conversation. Tap it to the side. So another important part of bone density is maintaining a healthy weight and a healthy diet. We don't want to be so far overweight or underweight. Being underweight means that we're not stressing our bones enough. And then tap it back. And now, doing those tap backs, get mentally prepared for all three of those movements, alternating our legs. Here we go, we go forward, toe tap, toe tap to the side. Take it back and back, toe tap forward, forward to the side. Take it back, forward, forward, out, out, back, back. Go at your own pace. Nice big breaths. So healthy diet, so important. And Living Well has nutritional specialists that you can always go to if you need help in that arena. But it's important. Keep moving. And back, good. All right, Com coming to our marching. Changing up our movement just a bit. Bring our hands in front, feet hip distance, and we shift our weight and lift one knee at a time. Shoulders are back, neck is long, chin is Level with the ground. <sighs> Keep breathing. Good. Keep going straight up, straight up. Nice job. Now we're going to cross body. Take to the left hand, take the right knee up. Switch it. Cross body. You can always work with a wall behind you for some support as you're increasing your balance. Nice big breaths. Keep your torso elevated. Very good, let's take it back now. Tap behind, 
opposite hand to the foot. So left hand taps behind the right foot. Opposite. Keep it going. Keep it going. The hand may not reach the foot. That's perfectly fine. Let's move now to a front knee, front knee, back foot, back foot, front knee, front knee, back and back. Nice, keep going. Nice big breaths, back and back. The arms are getting tired. Do legs only. It's perfectly fine. You're working really hard right now. So honor your body and where it's at. You've got a lot of time to, you know, alter what it is that you're doing. You can always pick it up at a later time in class. If you need a little break, take some water and then come back. Last one. Excellent job. Come back to our marching. We are going to pick up our weights now and do some strength training exercises with our, our handheld weights, and you can use whatever you have at home. Maybe you have some baseballs. <laughs> Maybe you have um, cans, uh, you know, heavy cans or water bottles. I happen to have a couple of small handheld weights that I'm going to use today, but I want you to use whatever you have and grab yourself a chair or a countertop for some support, and that's optional. We are going to take one weight into the right hand, left foot is forward, right leg comes back, bends into the front knee, and then just hinge forward and take your hand to that support. We're going to throw the weight forward and then pull it back like you would do a bowling ball or a bocce ball throw forward and then pull it back, forward and pull it back. Keep breathing. Six, seven, four. This is eight. We're doing 15 reps, nine, 10, 11, three more, excellent job. Keep the elbow lifted and now we're kicking the weight back. Straighten the arm and bend, straighten and bend, three, four, Five, we're doing 15, keep going. Last three, 
Working the tricep hard. And one, hold it now with a straight arm. We're doing a little lift up, working that tricep in the back of the arm. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. 10 more. four, three, two, and one, release it. Carefully step forward. We're switching our arms and our legs. I'm gonna just change my chair to the other side. The weight is in the left hand. Slide the left leg back, bend the right knee. Come forward. Bocce ball throw or bowling ball throw, pull it back, throw it, pull it back. Keep your hips even. Try to get the shoulder blades in the back body moving. 10 more, nine, eight. Seven. Five. Four. Three. Last one. Hold the elbow nice and high, working that tricep muscle. Kick it back. Bend. Kick it back. Keep breathing. 10 more. You got this. 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. And one, nice job, hold it out there and little lifts up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last three, two, and one, excellent. Step it forward, nice work, nice work. All right, let's go ahead and take your weights down so that the wrists are facing each other and we're lifting one arm out to the side and lower it down. Other arm out to the side, lower it down. Keep breathing. You can do both at the same time if that feels like a challenge that you want to take. But if you're doing that, make sure that it's not causing discomfort to your low back. Lift and lower, lift and lower, firming up the abdominals just a bit. Keeping your torso even. Beautiful job. We are going to now bend the knees slightly, bring the weights forward, but bend the elbows so that your wrists are facing each other, just like that. We're doing a little pulse of the elbows up, pulse it up, three, four, five, six, keep the uh, knee soft, last five, pulse, pulse, three, two, and one, release it down, 
Lower the weights carefully. Good. And now we are going to reach the left hand down while we take the rib cage to the hip. Reach from the belly and bring the torso back to center. Other side, reach it down. Draw the navel toward the spine as you firm it up. Lift back to center. Let your abdominals bring you back to center. Let's go. Reach, center, reach, center. Keep going. Excellent job. Come back to center. Take the weight to your left shoulder and then reach it up. Good. Lengthen up and over. Center. Over. Center. Same action. Rib cage to the hip bone. If this feels uncomfortable for you, do a second set of the first exercise that we did right before this one. You can keep the hand down. This just makes it a little more challenging. And I know a lot of you are ready for that. You know your body the best and you have to listen to your body. Let's carefully bring that weight down, switch sides. Nice and controlled. Go ahead, keep breathing. Don't expect your body to be the same on both sides. You always have a stronger side. Use your abdominals. One more. Bring it back and release. Roll the shoulders back. Let's put our weights down. Nice work. And stretch up out your tricep muscles. Bring the right arm up, elbow bends back. Bring the hand toward the shoulder and lift. Release. Switch arms. Release, slide your right foot forward, flex the toes back and sit into the hip, hinging forward right here at that hip joint. Feel the stretch in the back of the leg. Coming back to center, switch it out. It is recommended that you do 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity activity and incorporate a couple of sessions per week of strength training. Come back up, let's bend to Take the feet wide and bend into one knee. 
You don't have to use your weights for the entire body. You can pick a couple of muscles, work on those. Take a living well class, bend your knees. We have a lot of things. Big inhale, big exhale, bend. Exhale, one more time, bend, inhale, and exhale. Thank you all for joining me. I'm Sherry Minnick for Living Well. Take care, everyone. Hydrate, get some good protein, and get a great diet in you. Thank you all.